Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 28th of 2019. Let's see, what's uh, new? I K. Uh, I K. Okay. The monitor right here, my 4K monitor, I have switched it back to 1080p. Uh, I added my one of my many monitors sitting on the floor. I added this 1080p monitor here. So I have both of these monitors in 1080p, and of course I can drag back and forth and what have you. Uh, the, so much of this stuff is driven by my YouTube stuff, so I want the control panel over here all the time showing so I can see uh, what's going on. Uh, that's Well, that's one of the reasons. There's a bunch of reasons. Uh, I'm going to make this short. Well, let me see. What I, This is a blog. <clears throat> so, oh, uh, last week... I put my pants on, or tried to get my pants on. I got them on, but they were tight. And these, I've only got two pair of pants that really are, you know, the right size for me. And these are not supposed to be tight. I think they're a 44 waist. Um, of course, I'm sure in other countries that measurements are different. But... Um, and then, I can't wear shoes because my feet are swollen, legs and feet are swollen so bad, my feet won't fit in shoes. So I wear sandals, you know, that uh, <laughs> I had trouble getting my, my sandals on. So, I checked. I hadn't weighed in a while. I have a scale, digital scale. They're really nice, of course. Um... I was 254 pounds. I've never been, I don't think, 250 pounds. I have been up, you know, 240 pounds. And that's probably what I was the last time I weighed, about 238, something like that. And uh, so then I'm like, what's, and of course I felt terrible. And uh, for several days, maybe a week, extra terrible. Not the normal terrible. And uh, so I thought, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then, of course, I could tell that my legs and my feet, you know, were uh, retaining fluid. And so, okay, what's going on? Okay. Uh, you've probably seen me a few times here putting my medications into these little containers that are in a big and when I do it, I have a little tub that has all my medications in it. So I, I used to do the entire month because the thing holds, you know, 31 of these. And then I got lazy, so I just do one roll. So when I do the medication, I have all my meds, meds in this little container. And then I have to go through and put them in the, you know. And what I had done is I had taken out the water pills. Because sometimes I don't take the water. I should take them all the time. Uh, and I'd taken this out to have it here so that I would remember to, you know, take one or two. And what I had done, too, with what I was doing before was I got where I alternated. So one day would be one water pill in the morning. And the next day would be two. And then I would just keep repeating that over and over again. One, two, one, two, one, two. And I'd taken this out. So for about a week, I had not taken a water pill. And so, so I have started taking these. Got to remember to make sure I put one in my uh, pill vials every day. And then I'll also leave this out in case I think I need to take another one. So that's what happened. So now I'm down to... 245 I think and I'm sure it'll uh, 
go down. Not a lot, but go down. This chair, I told you I have two chairs. I showed you on the video the ones that I had purchased. Uh, now both of these arms are really loose and going and one of them the screw has actually I don't know if you can see that shear yeah you can it you know this is a bolt and it's sheared off it's broke off and uh, the hydraulic or the you know the hydraulic thing a cylinder on this thing is not working the other chair which I showed you before is a smaller less expensive one and the it's kind of narrow and the arm resist things push into my thighs which I'm sure cuts off circulation a little bit going to my legs where I don't have good circulation anyway oh uh, I've told you too I think a few times in the past that um uh, um, these chairs just don't last. I looked on, these chairs just do not last. Uh, about a year for me with an office chair. Of course, I'm, I'm either in bed or I'm sitting in this chair. And uh, Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter questioning Liz Um. So, you know, I've sort of joked, but, but I just need to have, you know, Amazon has those little buttons. Also have the thing on your order things. Do you want this, an item to be put to, you know, we'll give you a little bit of a discount if you uh, just have us send one to you when, you know, whatever. I guess you must tell them how often to send something to you. Like now maybe fish food, you know, but be, you know, how, if I figured out how much fish food I, I'm going to but, of course, I don't want unexpected things turning up on my bills. I want to know I'm ordering this now and I have the money in the bank for it, you know. But uh, I looked on Amazon the other day. And I've, in the past, I've looked in at standard, I guess, for the office chairs is like 300 pounds. Well, you know, I'm like, well, I'm not. And my weight, you know, really should be like 230 or something. Uh, at the most and I thought well I don't you know but of course that's the size you know 300 pounds or whatever uh, then I saw some office chairs weren't that much more expensive when I bought and I think I saw one for 400 pounds or whatever I thought okay and then I saw one for 500 pounds so I think the next office chair I'm going to buy because then Maybe the hydraulic system will be <laughs> uh, better, and maybe the rest. So anyway, looks like I'm be one of these days ordering a chair for a 500-pound person. My God, I hope by the time it gets here, I'm not needing something that's more than that. I've got some orders coming uh, in. I have ordered in. A Madagascar lace plant, seven dollars. Um, I think it's going to be here Monday, I believe. And back in the 1960s, when my wife then, now ex-wife, when we had a tropical fish shop, I would order. They were really, I forget how much they were. They were really expensive back then, and I would order one or two, and. Uh, they always died for me. I see now it says, do not bury the bulb completely. Just, you know, bury like half of the bulb. And that may be what I was doing wrong back then. I don't know. But anyway, I've got one coming for my fish tank. Also, I, I'm not going to show it here, but I've, I've uh, uh, people who are uh, especially breeding a shrimp or whatever, uh, get some leaves large leaves and throw one in the thing and the uh, shrimp and other things like eating off that leaf and they get uh, stuff and then they so I've I've got some, that'll be a cure Monday with this order I think 
Also, I have uh, 12 cherry, cherry, I can't say cherry, 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 shrimp coming. And uh, let's see, here we go. Not the best picture of them. But they, there's a whole bunch of different, uh, there's some that are really, the people like the cherry red, but there are some uh, fantastic looking ones, you know, with stripes, all types of stuff. Anyway, I've got 12, and they should breed easily. We'll see. And making me think, though, that maybe I should get another, get another tank, maybe a 10-gallon tank. And so... The ones that are really red, keep them, you know, and or else pull the ones out that are not, that don't match up, so that uh, keep breeding the ones that are really red. And I don't know. I I can't afford all the hobbies, you know, tr computers. Uh, that's a hobby. Of course, now it's a way of, you know, you have to, uh, uh, so computers, photography, amateur radio, tropical fish. What else? Don't say eating. Well, it's a necessity. So anyway, we'll be getting these shrimp. Back uh, in the 60s, we didn't have any shrimp like this. Unless you had, we didn't sell saltwater uh, fish. We did, you know, tropical fish, not the saltwater, not the marine stuff. Uh, so we didn't have anything like this, but... Uh, Really looks interesting. I, I need some need some fish in the tank. Tell you what I'll do. The last part of this video, I'll move the camera over there. The last time, I think one of the maybe the last video I did, I used my cell phone. But uh, well, what I'll do when I get done here is I'll I'll uh, while you're still watching, I'll just move the. Uh, camera over there and we'll set it up and uh, so okay I have uh, I think this is also coming Monday uh, I have uh, three of these coming and I forget when this is coming uh, three giant rabbit snails and I have some java moss coming this java moss is really sought after it grows well but it grows really really slow so you can see what a small amount i'm getting and the, uh, the shrimp should love it and their babies should love it you know to be able to hide in there and what have you so that will be coming. Uh, I don't think the shrimp's going to be here for a week or so. That's good. You know, give me time to get things going. Okay, uh, what else? Um, I didn't watch the debates the last couple of days. You know, but I caught, you know, people, other people talking about, you know, um, uh, commentators and that type of stuff talking about it. So... Okay, I'm going to take off the headset. I've been looking, too, at, uh, you know, the wireless, so I could, you know, have the thing here, and then I could have a microphone on, and then I could move. But I don't think I needed that, uh, you know, that much. This is this is working okay, and you know, I've tried so many micro. I have a closet full of microphones, and... Uh, I see so many people with the uh, Blue Yeti having excellent audio, and but I just I just can't have I don't want the microphone in. I don't want to hide my beautiful face, right? Okay, uh, I'm now going to move the camera. So bear with me here for a second.
customers really get upset. Okay, let me see if that's close enough. I don't think it's going to. I wanted to get it right up next, but I think the. Uh, Okay, I'm back. I'm not sure how well that went. I don't think it went very well. Uh, there's not many fish in there, just two Pocostomus. One Coriodorus catfish, the other four died. Uh, total of four snails, and then there's a snail that rode in on a plant. So I have five snails, two mystery snails, and two, uh, I think, ram's horn, I believe. Uh... Okay, I think probably this is probably the best place for the uh, the camera, don't you agree? I did have the camera over here. I think this is the best place for the uh, camera, so I guess that's where it's going to be. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, what? If you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe. Not even sure how far I am with uh, reaching 3,000 subscribers, but I think I have a way to go. I started with uh, YouTube and when they started in 2005, and uh, I still haven't hit 3,000 subscribers. And I remember some of the popular people, I remember them starting, uh, like Boogie and... Uh, him doing a couple, you know, shout out and thank me for coming to his, uh, you know, just starting out. And then uh, how many subscribers does he have? I think hundred, I think hundreds of thousands. And uh, I started way before him and I can't even reach 3,000. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.